Cindy? Sounds like over there from that old songbook. Jason, it's coming from the book. <laughs> That's silly. Books don't cry. Well, this one does. Maybe it's got a name. I excuse me, Mr. Songbook? Do you have a name? <laughs> yes. He talks. He really talks. Well, well wh what's your name? <laughs> Salty. Salty, why are you crying? Because nobody will sing my music. They just tossed me off in the corner and they forgot all about me. We'll sing your music. Yeah. We'll sing your songs, won't we? Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm a kid's songbook. I need kids to sing my song. We're kids. You are? Yeah. But how do we start? Well, this might sound silly, but... But first, you need to think happy thoughts about Jesus. Happy thoughts about Jesus? Yeah, like he's your Lord and Savior, and he loves you so very much. He, he loves me? Yeah, he loves you. He, he loves me, yeah, We're he gonna loves sing. me. We're going to sing. You're We're doing it. Sing. You're doing it. Pray you sing. friends 
It's nice to join you for Sunday School today. My name is Auntie Hadija, and I'm so excited that we are going to listen to our Bible story for today. To listen to our Bible story with us, we have Papi. Hello, Papi. Let's say hello to Papi. Hello. Welcome, Papi. We are so happy that you're joining us for Sunday School. Good. Today we are going to listen to another parable that Jesus told his disciples, his friends. I'm sure you remember what a parable is. We learn that a parable is a short story that has an important lesson or an important meaning. Let's say it together. Papi, parable. Parable. Good. Now, before we listen to our parable for today, let's talk to God. Let's close our eyes and pray. Our Father, we thank you so much for bringing us to Sunday School. We pray that you help us to understand everything that we will learn today and help us to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Good. So, our parable is from the Bible. Jesus told this parable to his friends. Now before we listen to the parable, who can tell me what this is? Can you guess? Papi, it's the cross of Jesus and we want to make Jesus a special friend. So this parable, Jesus likened us making him our special friends to a treasure. Hmm. So Jesus told the parable about a man who found a treasure. Can you see the man? The man found a treasure. How many of us know what a treasure is? A treasure is something that is so special, something that is so important, that you really like, that you are so happy that you have, and you don't want any bad thing to happen to that treasure. Hmm, that is what a treasure is. I'm sure you can mention some things that you really like at home. So, Jesus told the parable that the man found a treasure in a field and when he found the treasure he was so happy he decided to do something about it he decided to sell everything that he had to get that treasure that important thing that special thing that he had found so he decided to sell everything that he had what are some of the things at home do you think that he might have sold can you mention some of them? He could have sold his table and chair, his pencils, what else? He could have sold his fridge. What else? What are some of the, some of the things at home that you think he might have sold? His shoes. His clothes. Because he wanted to get that special thing that he had found, that treasure, his school bag. So after he had sold everything that he had to get that treasure, he decided to sell all the things that he had gotten to get that treasure. And so he bought it. He bought the field, okay, he bought the field and then he got the treasure. Can we see the treasure? Good. Once he got the treasure, he was so excited, he was so happy. He said to himself, oh, now I have my treasure. Now I've got my treasure. Wow, isn't that amazing? What a beautiful treasure. So, Jesus' parable was 
was like this. The man found a treasure. He sold everything that he had to get that treasure. When he found it, when he bought the field, okay, he was able to get that treasure and he was so excited. So, we've learned that a treasure is something that is special, something that we really like. It's something that we don't want any bad thing to happen to it. We are so happy that we have it. Now, Jesus explained this parable to his friends that this treasure is like us making Jesus a special friend. So, I, Auntie Hadija, I have made Jesus my special friend. Remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. He came to save us. He rose again from the dead and he will come back to take all his friends with him to live forever and ever and ever. And Jesus said that when we make him our special friend, then we have made him our number one. It means that he's so important to us and we don't want to make him sad. We want to make him very, very happy by doing everything that he tells us to do. So I have made Jesus my special friend. So I'm going to stake my cross just beside me here. I'm sure you can also do that too. To make Jesus a special friend. Jesus promises that if we make him our special friend, he will give us eternal life, which means that we will live with him forever and ever and ever. Hmm. Jesus is my number one treasure. Isn't that wonderful? Just like the man who found the treasure. He was so happy. He was so excited that, wow, I've got a treasure. I want to get that treasure. So he sold everything that he had to get the treasure. Papi, isn't that wonderful? So wonderful. So we too can make Jesus our number one treasure. We can make Jesus our special friend. And we don't want to make Jesus sad. We want to stop all the naughty things, all the things that will make mommy and daddy sad, that will make Jesus sad so that Jesus can be our best friend and we can live with him forever and ever and ever. What are some of the things that you think we can do to make Jesus happy? Yes, can you mention some? So you can see on the screen when we pray every day, when we uh, read our Bible, whether with our friends or with our parents, when we are helping mommy and daddy at home. Yes, yes. Can you mention some more? When we are saying our memory verse, when we are singing praises songs to God. All of these things make Jesus very happy. And it shows that he is our number one treasure. Say it with me. Jesus is my number one treasure. Let's say it again. Papi, don't you see? Yes. Jesus is my number one treasure. One more time. Jesus is my number one treasure. Good. I hope you remember that we can make Jesus our friend. And when we do that, it means that we are going to do everything that he tells us to do to make him happy. You know what? If you have not made Jesus your friend, we can pray right now. And when we pray, Jesus would come and be our friend. Papi, we can pray with them. So, if you've not made Jesus your friend, let's close our eyes and talk to him. Let's talk to Jesus that we want to make him our number one treasure. Just like the man was so happy to do. So let's pray. Let's close our eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for teaching us that when we make you our special friend, you'll be with us 
and you help us to do everything that you want us to do. Please come and be our friend. Help us to stop all the things that make you sad so that we'll also be happy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good. Papi, did you enjoy the story? I'm sure you did. Just like our friends at home. So let's say our uh, lesson word up one more time. Are you ready, friends? Let's say it together. Jesus is my number one treasure. Let's say it again. Jesus is my number one treasure. So tell mommy, tell daddy, tell your friend that you found a treasure. And that treasure is Jesus. And you're so happy about it. Just like the man who was happy that he had found the treasure. Good. We are going to ask some questions to see how well you listened to the story. Before we do that, let's listen to this song. Papi, Papi, are you ready for our questions? I'm sure our friends are all set. Okay, so let's do the first question. The first question, you can see it on, on the screen. Some pictures are there. So the first question goes like this. In today's parable, what did the man find? What did Jesus say that the man found? What did he find? Mm-hmm. Did he find a treasure? Did he find lots of footballs? Or he found a pack of toys? Just point to the correct answer on the screen. You are right. The correct answer is he found a treasure. Well done. 
Papi, let's give them some cheers. Yay! Good, good, good. Okay, are you ready for the second question? All right. So on your screen, you can see that there's a man who is making an exchange, who is giving something to another man. What did the man do when he found the treasure? What did he do? Did he sell everything he had so he could get the treasure? Or he went home and didn't come back? Papi. Oh. Or he went to tell some of his friends about it. What did he do? Did he just go home and didn't come back? Did he just go and tell his friends about what he had found? Or he sold everything he had so that he could get the treasure? What is the correct answer? Yes. You are right. He sold everything that he had so that he could get the treasure. Well done. Let's do the third question. Are you ready? Good. So you can see the pictures on the screen for our third question. In today's parable, Jesus said that finding the treasure is like what? Jesus said finding the treasure that the man found. What is it like? Is it like eating your favorite food? Mm -hmm, puppy. Or is it playing with your friends? Finding the treasure, finding that special thing, finding Jesus. Is it like playing with your friends? Or the treasure is like making Jesus a special friend so that we can be with him forever. What is the correct answer? Which of them, which of the pictures gives you that answer? If you pointed to the cross, then you are right. Jesus said that finding the treasure is like making Jesus a special friend. And that means that when we do that, we can live with him forever and ever and ever. Well done. Clap for yourself. Good. So if you are able to answer all these questions, give yourself a very big cheers. Yeah, yeah. Good. So remember that Jesus is our number one treasure. Let's say it one last time. Ready? Go. Jesus is our number one treasure. Remember to tell everyone about this and remember that Jesus loves you. Let's get ready for our memory verse.
hello everyone i hope you had a good week and you have learned very important lessons from today's bible story children i am sure there is something that you love so much that you will do anything to let mommy and daddy get for you well in our memory verse for today we will learn that there is something even more nicer and more important children our memory verse is from matthew chapter 6 verse 33a and it's from the bible in the new testament matthew chapter 6 verse 33a and it reads seek first god's kingdom and his righteousness matthew chapter 6 verse 33a you know i'm going to show you the actions that go with this verse seek if you look around as if you're looking for something and first you put up your finger like this kingdom you point up and then righteousness is like this so let's do the actions again seek first god's kingdom and his righteousness you remember the verse matthew chapter 6 verse 33a seek first god's kingdom and his righteousness amen you know children when you say seek it means you're looking for something with all your strength your energy looking because you want the thing so much and then god's kingdom it's a situation where god is in control of everything he rules no power or person controls anything and when we talk about god's righteousness we mean that god is perfect there is no bad thing in him at all so if you are god's child oh you want to put god first in everything you do when you wake up in the morning you will pray first when you want to eat you will pray first and you read your Bible. If you can read, you read your Bible and pray before you go and do anything. But if you are not God's child, hmm, this is not important to you. You want to do anything, anyhow, anytime you want. And that does not make God happy. So our memory verse says that we should do what? Put God first and be like him. Okay? Good. To help us remember our memory verse, Melika and Eresi will help me play a little game. So Melika and Eresi, come, quick, quick, quick. You know, I have something really nice hidden behind two of these pots. I want you to go and find them. And when you find them, you can keep what is there, okay? So now go, go and find what I've hidden behind the pots. Let's see if Eresi will also find hers. Eresi, look behind the pot, inside the pot. Well done! Eresi too has found us. Eresi and Melike, come. So, you see, this reminds me of the parable of the hidden treasure. They have found treasures and you can keep them, okay? Good! So now you can go. Thank you very much. Children, let us always remember to put God first in everything we do. And we are going to repeat our memory verse by moving our hands forward, okay? At different speeds. So we'll say it and we'll move our hands forward like this, okay? So Matthew chapter 6, verse 33a. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Let's do it faster. Matthew 6, 33a. Seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness a little faster seek first god's kingdom and his righteousness well done bye bye i hope you are going to enjoy the song that will come after this have a good week bye bye i am happy 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 i am happy i am happy that i found jesus hello children 
I'm very excited today because today's lesson was very special to me. You remember we learned about the parable of the hidden treasure and the pearls. Now, and we also learned that Jesus is the hidden treasure. We are going to make a very special craft. But before we proceed, what reminds you about Jesus? Can you tell me? Yes, the cross. Because Jesus Christ died on the cross. And so we are going to do a very beautiful craft like this one. For our crafts, we need two manila cards. You can use any color of your choice. I chose this one, silver, and a red one. We also need a pair of scissors, glue, and a pen to write beautifully that Jesus is my number one treasure. So let's get going. We will start by cutting out our cross. Now to do this, we will need mommy and daddy or any adult at home to help us do the cutting. So I need one long one like this and another short one which I can put across the long one to get that beautiful cross to show that Christ died on the cross of Calvary to save you and I. And so after cutting it out beautifully this way, we would glue it. So let's glue it nicely. And then glue the long one too. Then after gluing it, we need to put it in the middle of our big card nicely, okay? And then put the short one across it to get the cross. So after we do that, we should get something like this. I hope you are all with me. So now let's wait for it to dry up a little bit. I am happy, happy, happy. I am happy. I am happy that I found Jesus. I am happy, happy. I am happy that I found Jesus. Wow, I believe it's dry now. You remember we said that Jesus is my number one treasure. And so that is what we are going to write out beautifully on this craft. And so let's all write it. Jesus is my number one Treasure. Hey, so this is our craft for today. Let us always remember that Jesus is very special to us. Let us make him our number one treasure in everything that we do. Let us always remember that Jesus is the number one treasure and we must always please him. And so thank you so much for joining us on Sunday School today. We'll see you again another time. Bye-bye.